Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. So glad you're here. As I said at the beginning with the extra, we are doing a giveaway. And so we're going to dance, we're going to spin the wheel. It is the end of the month, so everybody's getting on the wheel. Everybody has the chance to win a superb prize pack. I'm going to spin the wheel. And it's going to be three big prizes. You're going to win an extra wallet for prize one slash, you know, the DCP prize pack. It's going to be a hoodie and all the, tr the treats and all the stuff that we send out. Prize two is going to be a wallet and a keychain from Exter and the prize pack. And then the third spin, the Exter Weekender bag. I really wanted to keep this, but I felt, man, you guys deserve it more than me. Okay. I get the free stuff. I'll just order one myself. Someone else needs that more than I do. You're gonna win that and it's gonna be full of DCP goodies, okay? So let's spin the wheel. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Get all the YouTube members. That's a lot of people. All right, let's do the Patreons. You'll throw them in there as well. Gotta have the Patreons in there. So here's what I'm gonna do. Since I have so many damn new members and you guys are such amazing, incredible people, I might not dance every time, but every day for the month of December for Snarkmas, we're gonna be giving, we're gonna spin the wheel and give away a prize, okay? And that's for everybody who is a member in Patreon, no matter what tier that you are. I think that's only fair, right? We'll give away, maybe we'll do two spins, but I, I can't dance every day, guys. I look like a fool. But just, that's my way of saying thank you so much for being a member of my channel. Plus you get early videos and all this stuff and you get discounts for cool merch like this. <laughs> I wore this to the bus stop and Everly's like, what are you wearing? It's, I didn't realize there's just like a moment where it clicks where your kids are like all of a sudden ashamed of you. Everly's at that moment. She's like, dad, oh my God. I'm like, I love you. I love you. That's what I said. And then she just walked away like this. Roll her eyes. I'm a proud dad. Anyway, I don't know where I was going with all that. But without further ado, let's spin this wheel tw three times today. So the first prize is the wallet. Ready? Let's go. Yeah, Whoa! Baby. Diana Ferry, you win the first, which is a wallet and a prize pack or whatever. Dance. Yeah, baby. You win a keychain and a wallet. Last spin of the day. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Janelle Hood, congratulations to the winners of this prize pack. Extra prize pack. Reach out to me, Josh, the dadchallengepodcast.com for your prize. Send me your address, your shirt size, and I will send you this stuff. Let's go snark in the darker he doesn't. Okay, so the beard is going to go soon. It's, what, till July 25th today, which is a Black Friday, so, like, make sure you're shopping. Um, five days. My birthday's November 30th. Gone. My wife is like, when's your birthday again? I'm like, gone, get rid of it. And I was like, whatever, wife. You don't know me. You're not my real dad. I didn't say that, actually, at all. I said nice boobs and poked one and then ran. Because that's what husbands are supposed to do. Anyway, let's get to this dockety dozen snarkety, because it's going to be fun. Apparently, people were like, what? This is like our fifth Thanksgiving shopping spree. How much shit do you need? Who are you feeding? The entire U.S. military? Because if you did, they're all going to have like the runs and shit. So let's see how this goes. Hi, everyone. It's Alicia with the Dockerty <laughs> It's beginning to look a lot like White Paw Every time you vlog Take a shopping trip or ten Down to the Wegmans and fill your carts with like 60 pounds of cheese It's beginning to look a lot like Cheetos 
Your husband swore But the dirtiest sight to see Is a house that smells like pee And fries on the floor A bowl of rotting old fruit and a septic that's due Is the least of all of your sins Broken old clocks that magically stop And thumbs and make me cringe And Josh can barely do a thing Except make some shitty ramen She's beginning to look a lot like this guy In every video Cause all she really needs Are fans as dumb as she Showing up at her door Bon appetit Your vlogs are such a bore I actually finally sat down and wrote the lyrics. When I sit down and write lyrics, it can get fun. Roxource Rex is one of my main mods, like OG from way back in the day. She's hardly on here anymore. She's too busy with life. But her and I did a roast song of Micah and James Stoffer. If you haven't heard that song, go listen to the song. Okay, she is so talented and we did like a hip hop roast. It was so good. Maybe I should do one of these. I mean, the whole month of December is going to be. And so that's like a sneak peek of December. So when we do the 12 days of Doherty Dozen, it's going to be a new Christmas song. That's going to just be a parody of their life. And we're going to give away some prizes and then we're going to have some fun snarking. Even if it's like a 10 minute video, we don't have to do all the long ones, right? Even though all our videos are long. Like get wrecked. Lush, yeah, apples. All right, here we go, sorry. Here is my weekly grocery haul for our family of 14. <laughs> but first, coffee. Here it Yeah. So here's the menu. Sketty and meatballs, garlic bread on the tables, chicken pot pies, applesauce, homemade bread, tacos, veggie tappings, pineapple. <laughs> Hello? It's been a long time. How are you? No, I saw. <laughs> I know you still haven't told anybody. It's weird. I get it. But uh, aloha or whatever. I haven't, you know, it's just been a hot minute and whatever. Hope your cleaning is going fine. Bye. I don't like you. Uh, Wednesday, steak, rice, broccoli, mushrooms. And then Thursday's happy Thanksgiving, turkey, stuffing, potatoes, etc. And when she says etc., she means 14,000 calories per person. Pizza, carrots, oranges, carrots. Why she put veggies in there? Such a liar. This is our dinner menu for this week that we made together as a family from there. You don't make that together as a family. You make it and nobody eats it. It's giving menu, which I'm... She just spent thousands upon thousands of dollars and it wasn't just for Thanksgiving. She bought a whole ton of shit. There's no way she spends this much. There's You can't. It is impossible to eat f f like $1,400 worth of food a week. Impossible. I don't care if you have 14 people in your house. It's impossible to eat that much food that she buys. And she's going out again. Made separate, which is right here. And then I made our grocery list separated out by areas of the uh, store. I saw Oreos on there. Um, I got most of the groceries already because I did like the Thanksgiving haul. Yeah, you did. You shopped 15 times before this. At Costco. So why did you lie at the beginning? Of the, this is that 14. No, it's not. Just say this is like me going to the store because I'm addicted to spending weekly shopping haul we are josh look at her video views like a day in a life whenever she, it's odd that you see a, a photo with deshaun gets 133,000 views that's on purpose everybody okay but like her day in the life videos 83,000 get ready with me 38,000 mama 12 morning routine 55,000 she's after school lunch 23,000 i've never seen her views this low before People are getting bored and they're getting sick of it. I don't think it's... And her stands are always still saying the same thing. Her subs are increasing like crazy. Since I started talking about her, she's gone up by 140,000 subscribers. So I don't know what's going on there or whatever, but people are just kind of getting like, yeah, you better start switching up your shit. Because her manager, by the way, who helps her do all this stuff, I don't think he's got any good ideas left. Like, what is she going to pivot to next? For Kate, the Christmas shit's going to bring her in a big haul of money and views, right? Because she's going to spend $25,000 
dollars on her kids. She's going to take them on a vacation. That's going to get some big bucks in there. She just she doesn't know how to pivot away from this. She's she's it's like she's a lazy creator, right? She she this has made me money so much, and I don't want to change it, and until I absolutely have to change it. And she's going to have to change it because her shit's falling apart. How do you have 1.04 million subscribers? Wait, what does she have? How do you have over 1 million subscribers and you barely break 100,000 on your views? That Make it make sense. What's going on behind the scenes here? And BJ's. So I just have like some random last minute Thanksgiving groceries right. to get. Is it random? I'm sure it's random. Today plus this week's um, like dinner and lunch. Breakfast groceries. Them. Oh, yeah. I have. Oh, here we go. She brought a kid. Carly home this week. So she, this is all here. See what she just did there. She she probably did this three or four times, right? And then she's like, "Okay, when I say this word, you say something, Harley." And she's like, mm. "And everybody's like, okay, your kid's still eating just sugar again, though." That was she had for breakfast, a sucker. But first, more coffee. <laughs> Shut up. Are you excited to go shopping? No, she's full of sugar. That's what's happening. You literally fed your child sugar for breakfast again. All this kid. Have you ever heard of telling your kid no candy for breakfast? Let's all say it together, everybody. All the parents in the house here who are good. Ready? Bring it all in. No candy for breakfast. Unless it's the day after Halloween, then that's fine. Okay? This kid only eats candy. I. I. I this woman perplexes me. She knows even her deepest, darkest fans are, don't even think that's smart. And she does it. It's calculated. And it's at the, the risk and cost of her children's health. I remembered the four year old, but I forgot my reusable shopping bags. I hate mushrooms. What? She went into the employee entrance again. Lush. She's like, this is my entrance? She probably puts like a sticker over it. Lush's entrance. Just go. That kid is literally looks like yeah! like you know you know when your kids are full of shit. Like, All you hear is Bird! and she's filming other people again. See, candy, 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 candy. That's all she wants, candy. Don't film people. All right, we need dog food first. That's something you get another day. Chill. All right, let me review the... Here we go. Box, can, Oreos, Chips Ahoy, pie filling... She already got taco shells last week. Velveeta. There's no way she needs more Velveeta. No effing way that that, the amount of Velveeta she buys, she goes through it. There's an, it's impossible. Unless kids are eating five buckets of Velveeta a day. There's no way that that's possible. Like even Velveeta's like, stop eating this much Velveeta. Look at that, flowers on the end cap. And I need that. You bought flower last time, didn't you? I don't know. I swear to God she did. Pumpkin, I just and I'm pretty sure she bought that last time too. Sweet pumpkin or they're all just blurring together, maybe. This morning I used the can up. Oh, this is good too. And we're stocked up. I had to get more pie filling. I'm going to make homemade Pop Tarts this week. Homemade Pop Tarts. <laughs> I think I'll make like a couple of different flavors. Cherry. Uh, don't do blueberry. They have strawberry. Something else other than blueberry. Blueberry. Blueberries on their own are delicious, but not like in the filling. I could be wrong. Like some people like that, but it's like ugh. Strawberry. Yeah, I did the strawberry ones. Harley. Candy. Candy's her favorite. Let's get some apple. Yeah, the apple would be good too. Here's the thing about apple pie, and maybe I could be wrong about this, but I always see people putting like huge chunks and strips of apple in their apple pie. Would apple pie not be way more delicious if you did like tiny little cubelets of apple instead? Hear me out. Does anybody do that? Because I feel like that would be just so much tastier, right? Just, it's just me. 
Snack packs. Snack packs. Snack packs. Yeah. I know she bought some of those last time. She was actually really excited. I bought snack packs last week. I'm gonna get more. Yeah, you're probably gonna get 40 of them. Look at that. They've got the crystal sticks and stuff. Okay. It's hard to find lately. Are they? I got a few things to Isn't that for like frying, frying shit? Crisco? Is that butter? Can you use it? Crisco. It's, Chris, it's lard. It's lard. I know what that is. You <laughs> dancing there? Stop filming other people, you total dish. By the way, if you didn't know, the YMCA video got blurred. Somebody reached out to me. I didn't tell people to do this, but this person reached out to YMCA and was like, I'd like to speak to a manager. <laughs> and then they told this manager about what was going on with the filming of the Alicia Doherty. And apparently that manager was pissed by the way. And she's like, that is a no-go. We do not allow filming here. That is crazy. And I was thinking it was the other day. I know that YMCA specifically is an organization that will help people who are struggling, right? They'll give you free memberships and come out if you're like at a shelter, if you're struggling with money and you're just whatever, right? YMCA is amazing, especially here in Canada. Like I know that for sure. So it begs the question, there's probably people that go to the YMCA that absolutely should not be filmed. They might be at a shelter running away from domestic abuse or whatever the case may be, or just again, in hiding for whatever reason, they're going there because they get to go for free. And if you bring out a camera in a place like that, that has people like that there, shame on you. Okay. Because what if your video, someone sees it and sees someone in the background that should not be videoed. Okay. I, mean, I know that's, I know it's such a far-fetched thing. I get the likelihood of it happening is very small, but what if this is why you're not allowed to film specifically in ba in like people where people wear bathing suits. Okay. And for whatever reason, I don't know if she got called by YMCA or whatever, but she blurred that shit instantly turned off her comments because she was getting ratioed by it. I, I, again, at, at some point when you do things that you know you're going to get called out for, it's going to go too far. People are going to be like, well, that's just, I've had enough, right? There's going to be a whole, she's dropping, she's going to drop some, she's going to drop supporters by the thousands and thousands and thousands. Even if they don't unsubscribe, they're just going to stop watching. Some of them won't even get mad. They're just like, ah, I don't want to do this anymore. So she just, she doesn't learn and puts people in danger. What are you looking at? Oh my God. What are you making with all that Crisco? More brown sugar. You just bought some. Mm. Oil. Oil. To grab the muffin mix. Jiffy. Holy shit, that's a lot. Holy man. Corn muffins. Probably good, right? Corn, it's like cornbread. It's probably good. It's probably, those are probably good. That's a lot, though. You only need one of those. Is everybody having five corn muffins? I don't get why she buys so much of the same shit. You're having a plethora of different items. You're not, you don't need. Everybody needs a plethora of every item. She doesn't understand. She just wants to spend money. Go buy a house then or something. Go do something else with your money. Get Who are you? You're filming someone else's gut. We actually are going to buy marshmallows for the yams. She's literally just listening in someone's conversation. You know, we just get like this four pack. Do you feel dumb talking to yourself on a camera? Do you? You should. Wait, I do that. Yeah, marshmallows are right here. Alrighty. She must have a sponsorship with Wegmans because she only buys Wegman brand shit. Something's up. She ups. I'm starting to realize it probably is what's happening. She maybe it's that one day she's like, I'm not going to Wegmans anymore. Wegmans reached out and said, Oh, we're really sorry. Maybe Wegmans got a bunch of messages from her followers and said, Shame on you. What did you do? Blah blah blah. And Wegmans totally went back on it. Is that what happened? Ooh, I have mm, tea. Oh. Agreed. Probably. I wonder what her breast smells like. See? She comes up. Hi, I'm Alicia. Oh. Hello. I have to go. Mm -hmm. 
Jordan. Good thing she brought her kid to just ignore and film. <laughs> the kid's talking and she just completely ignores her because this is everything to her. This is more important. Not spending time with Harley. Just talk amongst yourselves with the marshmallows. It's back in a raisin phase, so let's get more raisins. Ew. Raisins. If you eat raisins, you probably fly flare too, so whatever. What are you doing? That kid eating the marshmallows? This has got to be like an American thing. I've actually seen some people in Canada do this too, but I would never, ever, ever give my kid something I haven't paid for. That's chachi. Don't do that. At our expensive grocery stores, which I'm not going to anymore, by the way, anywhere that President's Choice is sold, Shoppers Drug Mart, Zares, any of them, I am no longer shopping there. Because Galen Weston is a twat. That's why. In Alberta, he shut down, I think, 900 uh, union jobs right before Christmas after... President's Choice and Galen West, the Weston family, made a record profit. Record profits during COVID. They made so much money. And before Christmas, they're going to fire 900 people that, that just need to survive. Don't shop anywhere there at all. I'm canceling my PC credit card, everything. My wife's not very happy because she likes the PC points, but we've made the choice as a family to not support people who are going to destroy people at Christmas time and who are going to take record profits during COVID. That's my rant. Suck it, Galen Weston, you a-hole. Anyway, the expensive grocery stores, they will have bananas and oranges and apples in little baskets they treat and give to your kid. They do, I think that's pretty cool. All the grocery stores should do that. But you shouldn't let your kid eat candy while they just finished eating candy for breakfast. Great, great example here of being a good mom there, Alicia. Kid's gonna be so full of sugar. I can't even, these kids, how do these kids even sleep, man? get Rolos for the Rolos light. You don't have to get Rolos. Let's see. All right, I'm going to turn around and go to get the taco shells and... Why does she look at the list like this? Okay, I'm going to go get the taco shells at the thing. How about less coffee? But first... Deep breathing. But first... Water. Just drink water. It's probably better. Salvita. Oh, wait. We're right here by the snacks. How does she even hold herself together? There's no water. They never drink water. Let's grab the Oreos and Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its. They go through some Cheez-Its, man. These kids, these families just Cheez-Its all the way. We ran out of Cheez-Its. I find it pissed offable that this vlog is 45 minutes long and she's just going for a short trip. Four boxes of cheese. You such a gross, gross head. I just realized I wrote Oreos on this list twice. That was probably on purpose. I better not forget those. Why? What happens if you forget the Oreos? What? Kids are gonna have to eat some carrot sticks instead? Such a shame. We have those here. I found those at the dollar store. They're not that good. I don't know what people are talking about. They're really not good at all. They're not good. It tastes like straight propane and Play-Doh mixed together. I don't why do people like those things? They're not good. Three boxes! Holy shit! She said for Deshaun he eats all that. I like yeah, they don't have the small packs of Oreos. Oh, do you need the small packs? Oh. You know, she bought buy... Like, remember that time she was shopping? She bought, like, four box of Oreos, then, like, ten boxes of the small ones, and they're, like, the same price? So, I'm gonna get these. Why? Oreos aren't even that good. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't you dare put another one in there. Don't you dare. You dared. You girl. And then look. I don't understand. Why can't you just get the cookies? Why do you need all of it? Oh, my. and this isn't for Thanksgiving. This is like her regular shit, everybody. This is regular. Yes, honey. She loves you because you let her eat straight candy all day long. I'd love you too. 
Oh my god, with the cookies! Cookies and cheeses. And brownies and like everything in this cart right now, everything in this cart is bad for you. Everything. And you know, I get that it's Christmas time. People want to, like, I would understand this was like your Christmas haul for like, look at all the Christmas now. Christmas around growing up was like always debauchery. It is here too. We got like cookies, you know, the cookie tin you open, it's got all the different kind of cookies and little kinds of chocolates. You get the nuts. You got, uh, I think I got, I went to Costco and I got, um, uh, these brownie bites and stuff. I get that. We get turtles. I get that. That's Christmas, though. Right? The whole month is like, eat whatever. I get that. But this is every single week for her. Every week. All right. I'm going to grab more of these. Oh, yeah. Those are good. Not the cheddar ones, though. Ew. It's peanut butter ones. I finished my last one. They're all gone. Cheese and cheddar. No, those are gross. Peanut butter ones. No, the peanut butter ones. And she's just saying that because she knows I like the peanut butter ones. The peanut butter ones are far superior. The cheese ones are garbage. You're just saying that. <sighs> Whatever. Those are good, though. Those are good. I'm sure James does not need two full boxes of vanilla wafers. You don't need. No, you don't need two full boxes for one week. No, that's a lot. James is a good kid. You need to help James make better choices with food. You absolutely do. Take it from a kid who grew up like that. You are not doing him any favors. Not even just for like being bullied or whatever, because he's probably not. Maybe he is, I don't know. But you're not doing him any favors health-wise. I'm going to try a new mac and cheese recipe on Thanksgiving. Oh. Is that a brick of Velveeta cheese? Holy shit! It's like it's like the same weight as a bar of gold. You better not put another. You better not put another one in there. That's plenty. You got enough. Good. You damned glutton. Did she leave Harley at the other aisle? You're gonna buy one can of carrots okay. for 65 people. Half highs tonight. I get this stuff for that. I have corn at home. So I just ate the carrots and the peas. Ooh, peas. Ugh. Peas are gross. Notice how she buys 15 boxes of cookies, but like two things of carrots, two things of peas. <laughs> Can't make it up. Oh my god. Ew. Yams rhymes with slams. That's a big ass kid of yams. Holy shit, what are yams? See, she's not looking at her list, right? This is what pissed everybody off. She's just like, and here's something else over here that's not on my list. Jellied cranberry sauce with Dijon lobsters. Dijon is not eating two cans of cranberry sauce if it's just Dijon who likes it. You don't need two. You just don't need to. I think she's got OCD or something. She can't buy things that are odd numbers. Is there anything in her cart that's odd numbers? It's always two, four, or six of things. Is that something that people are overlooking? Is that, that shit would be expensive. Everything is in, is in even numbers. Okay, wait, she might break it. Four cans of cranberry sauce. For who? For Deshaun? Get some apple sauce okay. Well, I guess one is an odd number. You only need one of those. You only need one. You thumb. Ugh. I'm gonna get more olives because Nana and I have been eating these like crazy. It's a lot of olives. Probably put them in martinis. Dirty or with olives, rocks? I don't know what that is. is that, are olives the rocks when you say a martini on rocks? Is that what that is? Is ice. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, I just gotta grab to put this card up front and get another one. Actually, do we need more juice? She had to cut that and tell Harley to do yes. That's that's what she's there for. Um, somebody in the Reddit forum, if you head over to Dockerty Snarkity, that's the page that I officially endorse, um, is saying that the cranberry grape and that stuff is possibly Josh's that he mixes it for his drinks. Just saying. She buys a lot of this shit. Okay, this is but I don't know what kind of drink you mix with cranberry juice. Is it vodka and cranberry juice? Harley's favorite juice. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's for Harley. Harley doesn't need 16 liters of juice. She's like four. You tell me that Harley drinks that much juice a week. Why, she's gonna get another one because she needs. Oh, she only got three. Oh my god. She doesn't have OCD then. Okay. You already bought taco hard shells. Last time you went to the grocery store. Okay, next. I realized okay. I'm going to have to get some disposable pie pans because Nana took my pie pans for Thanksgiving pies. Nana, you son of a bitch. Let me get some more gravy. You already got gravy. Do you know how to make gravy? You're having four turkeys. You know how to make gravy? Yeah, be Six cans of gravy. Good. You're just trolling. I am so glad I thought of this right now. Mm-hmm, me too. Uh, why do you need pie pans? Your Nana's making the pies. What else? What You have like two cakes. You have like all this other shit. How many pies are you making? <laughs> You're probably going to have cookies and then Pam's ovaries. Actually, think about that for a second. I haven't seen Pam's ovaries in a while. I've been really sad when he went to make pot pies tonight and had no pie pans. <laughs> uh, what did you just sneak in the car? Ew. Pistachio jelly? Jello. It's not jelly. It's jello, it's pudding. Jello? That's disgusting. How do you know? You don't even know what it is. Okay, I'm gonna leave this card right here. We'll do more shopping. This new guy who started work Wegmans yesterday. Oh, look at this. I gotta take these back. Da, 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 da. I would laugh if that ever happened. Oh my god, we're not even a quarter way through this video. Two. Where's Harley? Where'd Harley go? Chicken come in a bag. Cool, take your kid to the bathroom with the camera on. Totally normal. I'm gonna have a sandwich for lunch. You just bought eight thousand dollars of the groceries. You can't just make something at home? And you're at Wegmans, you're not gonna get a sub? No! Ah! Turn it down! Alright. You need sandwich meats, bacon. How many sandwiches do you need for lunch? You're not gonna eat any of that shit. Chickens, we got handed. One thing you gotta notice is she stopped buying White Claw or drinking it on camera. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> And your meat bundles are awesome. That shit looks so good. We get like a, like this much meat for like sixteen dollars. Um, it's only thirteen dollars for that too. That honestly would be twenty five dollars here. I'm not kidding you. And that's Wegman's prices, so that's probably even expensive for Wegman's. That is crazy how cheap your meat is. That's what she said. <laughs> For the Thanksgiving leftovers. You're gonna make 32 wraps for 14 people? Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> wonder where she learned that from! She buys so much of that shitty yogurt with the stuff you put on. Like, so much wheat. I, I don't. Do you ever see her put that in the kids' lunches? Does she put that in their lunches? This is just a short trip for a few random things they forgot. Apparently someone said that the orange rolls are the best. A lot of people actually said that. So I don't know. I don't think we have those here. I feel like I have to get these. You don't. You don't have to get those. Why would you need to get those? Stupid. And cinnamon rolls. You 
just bought like 10 packs of cinnamon rolls last time. There's no way you're out of cinnamon rolls already. Shut up. Hey, did you see the back of this shirt? Isn't it cool? It's got a pineapple in it. I gotta fast forward, guys. It's getting so long, I can't even do it. Cheese ball, okay, good. Got a whole ton of other shit. Orange juice. Frozen shit. Cheese on them and call them Krabby Patties, and the kids think it's the best thing in the world. Yeah. Sure. Let's get some smiley fries to go with this. Shut up. Yes. Oh my god. We're only halfway through. Halfway through. Uncrustable. I'm gonna get one. The one thing I've learned about Uncrustables is you can't leave them in the fridge. You have to freeze them and eat them when they are thawed out. Because if you leave them in the fridge, they taste like they taste like rubber. So you gotta be careful with your uncrustables. Cart three. Cart three for a light run. That's random. What is gonna happen when this shit falls apart for her, man? Damn. Okay, kids, we're only going to be eating green beans. He doesn't need more candy. You don't need more candy. Oh, my God. Let's go. Yeah, get your one thing of lettuce. Get bananas. Get the bananas. Got to feed the fruit flies. Fruit flies got to eat, too. I would have grabbed those ones. No, right there. The one on the bottom. Right there. No, that, no, that one right there. What the hell? Why do you buy them yellower ones? Because you know kids aren't going to eat them. They have to last all week because you got to put them out for fake fakesies. So why do you buy the yellow ones? My kids have not been eating as many bananas. They go through these phases where they'll eat like four bushels of bananas a day. Oh, well, they go through phases where they're like, oh my God, if I eat another thing of sugar, I'm going to die. That's like their internal protection system saying, stop eating Uncrustables and grab a banana or an apple. Please, for the love of God. That's like their own systems. Shutting down and saying, if you don't eat something healthy, I will die. Ew, mushrooms. Yucky. You just bought celery. There's no way you ate all that celery because no one eats celery, man. Okay. You don't need lemonade. The last thing you guys need is lemonade. If you yawned, hit the subscribe button again. Some molasses cookies. It's not on your list. You already have cookies. You have 5,000 cookies already. You don't need any more. Go grab an apple. Board today. Holy shit. You bought chocolate chip cookies. Do you hear what she just said? This is so much food. Yeah. Your mom's bad. Mm. <laughs> you must not be my daughter. Check out. Ew, you're a nasty piece of work, you are. Holy shit. These people that check her through are like, we're judging you. We judge you. You're judged. No. She said this was a small random like catch up on some shit I missed. Three and a half full carts of bullshit. That's what it was. And it's week. This is her weekly shit. She clearly is allowed to film at Wegmans because right there is a person. And she knows who she is. The management knows who she is. She's there every week. They know that there's some. There's an agreement in place. There has to be. There has to be. So I'm gonna email the Wegmans manager and say, "Am I allowed to film in your store? I run a vlog and I want to film in your store. Is that okay? I want to see what they say." Because if they say they're not, you're not, no, we don't want you filming here, then how does she get away with it? And here's the lettuce that's gonna go bad. I know. You know that Alicia can absolutely afford to do the shopping, whatever you call it, they deliver your groceries, but she needs to do this for her content. But eventually you're gonna see it that her views are not gonna be worth her doing it. She's just gonna do her shopping thing. And it seems like she buys the same bullshit week after week after week. All she has to do is like repopulate the cart, get it delivered to her house. She absolutely can do it. But she can't, because this is, she needs to do this. <laughs> Why does she always do this? Uh, there it is again. So a lot of people were pointing out that she walks funny. <laughs> um, but there's turkeys on the floor in the garage where the kids all walk. Where And I guess the locker's on the other side of the garage. And 
I don't see a big deal with that, especially you live in a northern climate like we do. You could keep those shits in the garage and probably stay frozen, to be honest with you. But it looks like they're probably thawing them out because people have said that, I guess, he's deep frying a couple of them. And the issue with deep frying turkeys, they have to be completely thawed and completely and utterly dry. There cannot be any ice if you're going to deep fry a turkey or water, by the way. That shit will ablaze and you'll catch your whole house on fire. Be safe when you are dunking a turkey because I've deep fried turkeys and they're delicious. But you have to pat inside and out. No ice chunks, nothing. Completely dry. Okay, then you can deep fry it. So they're probably just letting them really slow thaw for like a three or four days. What is that? Just fast forward it like I'm doing right here. See how easy that is? She doesn't even talk. She just sh unloads shit. Oh my god. Look how much food she has there. And she's like, every week I need to buy all these things. You don't even have room for the shit you just bought. You have no room at all for all those food that you have. She again. She'll have the last laugh when the apocalypse happens. So that's for sure. Oh, here we go. Yo Crunch Oreos were $20. I guess it's like, oh, I see four times. Okay, sorry, I'm stupid, okay. Oh. Every time she shows up, Wegmans are like, all right, put a new roll in. Always add up once a month. Yeah, what are those steaks at? Let's see those steaks. Oh, strip steak. Holy, okay, here we go. Wegmans bacon, low salt, 20, $30. Strip steak, 40. Porterhouse steak, 30. Strip steak, 30. Ground beef, 20. I mean, that's not bad for steak, actually. Where's the steak? It's just way more. I gotta take you guys shopping again, because it's gotten worse. Okay, yeah, we saw that. Yeah. And we see your thumb, too. Your talon. Ooh. Revise strips. What's on your nail? Steaks. What is that? What is it? Porter hat. Ew, your fingers are dirty and gross. Oh, it's not chocolate on my fingernail. It's not chocolate. It's poop. Yeah. Awesome. Ew, ew, your whole finger's full of something. Looks like you stuck your finger up someone's butt. I mean, I wasn't. What was the end? Eating pumpkin chocolate chip bread. Mm, I'm sure you weren't. And, uh, yeah. Should have put that in after. Where's the final price? <gasps> $1,100 for a short, quick rando trip. Oh my god, that is more. That is more groceries than most families will eat in a month. Oh my god. Oh, rotisserie chickens went up like $10 each now. That, that's what they are here. That's crazy. I remember when they were $5. I remember when you had normal thumbs. No, I don't. Okay. Now you guys have me like analyzing my receipt for prices. <laughs> How tone deaf can you be? I never looked at anything before. Now I'm looking at prices. Well, now it matters because your views are down. Man, shit's going to hit the fan if she gets audited by the IRS. I'm going to tell you that. You won't see that video. Dang, that paint... <laughs> You'll see it, though, in her face. Steam bug was expensive. You're complaining about an $8 coloring book for your child, but not the 800 pounds of cookies you bought them? Yeah, okay. That tracks. Harley. Yeah, Harley's, the, Harley's definitely the problem. 100%. Good old bananas. They're still cheap as anything. I love bananas. You don't eat bananas. All right, I am going to eat lunch. Thank you for coming grocery shopping with us this week. You are You're strong. Welcome. You are beautiful. You are loved. You belong. And I am so proud of you. She's got to stop doing that. And I talked about this in Colleen Ballinger's blog. If you didn't watch it, go watch it. Okay? She does this. And those who have parasocial relations with her and her family, they take that shit seriously. You don't know these people. Are you saying you're proud of the predators that watch you, Alicia? Because you're not. Or you, maybe you are. I, mean, I don't know. We'll see. I'll see you next time. No, you won't. Yes, you will. Yeah, we're going to continue to start. Anyway, everybody, it was super long. I'm so really sorry, but take a deep breath. Woo! That's a lot of cookies, man. So, again, if you won a prize, reach out to me, that, Josh, at the thedadjoshpodcast.com. I will send you your prize. I got to head over to Buffalo, drop these things off to my shipper lady. She's amazing. And bring over some more peanut butter and stuff like that because people have been asking for peanut butter and I owe people peanut butter. If I owe you peanut butter, reach out to me because I finally got some. 
awesome. Also, don't forget for the month of December, Dockerty December, the Dockerty December. It's gonna be great. We're gonna do lots of parody songs. I'm gonna do. A, I have a parody video that I've written out. I'm gonna do a couple of those. It's gonna be funny. Um, we're gonna snark. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna give away lots and lots of cool prizes. And thank you so much for those who already sent me birthday presents. I'm gonna open them on my birthday, November 30th. I'm gonna show you the cool gifts everybody got me. Um, and don't send me things like that are just random. If you're gonna send me some on birthday, make it cool and special, like this kind of cool shit. I love this stuff. This is a guitar mug. I don't need things, but I like well thought out, really cool, like even prank gifts. You know what I'm saying? Someone sent me a really cool and I'll show it to you on my birthday. But you guys are amazing, incredible, and valuable. Don't you ever damn well forget it. You look so good today. Okay? Just keep working out. Keep going hard. Doing yourself. Don't forget, Christmas calories don't count. Don't fly flare. And I'll see you tomorrow.